everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today we have another K-pop catch up uh, to do. This is part two of the poll that I put up on Patreon a couple of weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> I was meant to do this particular video last week, but schedule. It didn't happen. So we're doing it today. Um, we've got four videos to go through. We've got Hyanna's Nabilera. We have SF9 Scream, Jaehyun's, oh, what's the name of the song? Forever Only, and then Tempest's um, Can't can Stop Shining? Is that what it's called? Yes. Yes, that. Um, so yeah, like I said, put up a poll on Patreon a couple of weeks ago. The patrons voted, and this is part two of that. So we're just going to dive in, have a good time, and see what they're bringing for these. Let's go. So, starting us off then with Hyanna's Nabilera. Uh, I can't actually remember whether this came with an album or not. It did. Interesting. I don't know if I'm going to do a reaction to that album. It might end up being one that I listen to in my own time, but we'll see. If I end up having a little bit of extra time, I may try. There are a few, I think this, SF9 and Tempest all came up with albums for these releases, so... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I'm able to squeeze in album listens. If I do check them out, they'll be over on Patreon, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll have time, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's see what's happening. I have no idea what to expect from this. Like, this has been out for a while, but I have not heard, <coughs> like, a little snippet of it, I don't think. Um, yeah, I have very little idea of what to expect from this, but it's Yana and she's a queen, so it's probably gonna be pretty cool. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. see what you did there. I see what you did there as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's so that's so pretty. Oh, it's fun. I like it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is <laughs> it's such a like cute and <laughs> bright sounding pre-chorus and then <laughs> the imagery <laughs> we love juxtaposition <laughs> Okay, this is fun. She's just such a legend, man. Oh. Oh, we're standing on men. Amazing. Indeed. Oh, I love the way she did that. <laughs> Here's the thing that I have 
come to the conclusion with for for me and Kana, uh like my my personal feelings towards Kana and her music, right? Is musically, for the most part, it's not the kind of stuff that I listen to a lot. Like, at least as far as like her title tracks are concerned. Like in my own time, I don't go away and listen to them a huge amount. And I think for me the reason for that is you know, the music's good, it's solid, it's fun, she's great, but I think what makes her music so have so much pop to it is her, right? Is her presence, the way she performs it, um, and just her her aura, her attitude, like everything about her. And so <clears throat> I feel like it's one of those situations where you know, if I were watching her live or if I'm watching music videos, performances, whatever, I'm going to have a great time and I'm going to love it. But just listening to the music on my own, it's not going to have quite the same impact for me. Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? Because like, it's her. <laughs> it's her that makes it so much more for me, uh, like watching it. Um, so it's just... It's so interesting how there are certain artists like that where like musically it's not necessarily the kind of stuff that I gravitate towards. It's not like the kind of stuff that I necessarily listen to a huge amount. Um, obviously there are exceptions, like there are the odd songs here and there, like Party Feel Love from her last album. Oh, <laughs> oh. <clears throat> still listening to that. That's an incredible song. But um, when it comes to like her title tracks and stuff, I really don't listen to them a lot on their on their own, but you show me a performance of it, you show me a music video or whatever, like, I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time because she's just, I don't know, man, she's just so iconic. <laughs> she's so iconic. She's so free, so fun to watch, and it's just so completely, unapologetically herself. And I just, I just, I just love it. I love it. She's just great. This is great. But yeah, that was a really fun song. It was a super fun song. I loved the weird juxtapositions between the different sections of the song, like that pre-chorus and stuff was so like, kind of like almost cutesy um, and very bright sounding. And then it was just like this much like deeper, um, I almost want to say like grimier drop, but <clears throat> so it was that, but then also in the imagery itself, <laughs> The juxtaposition between the song and what was happening in the music video. Great. Loved it. Very her. And she's just, she's just iconic, isn't she really? Anyway, that was a great time, but let's move on. Alrighty. So moving along to SF9 Scream. Now, one of the reasons why, because some of the, th hang on. when it comes to making the polls that I do for these catch up videos, normally uh, I don't repeat releases like if a release doesn't make it in one poll it doesn't then make it onto the next poll simply because i typically go back and check stuff out but the reason that i did this time was largely because of this <laughs> because i have had a huge amount of comments asking me to react to it um and i just really want to watch it so i was like okay we'll give it another shot um so i threw it on the on the poll and here we are. So this is uh, their latest release. As far as I'm aware, a couple of the members have started their military service, so they're not in this, if I'm thinking correctly, because um, I'm pretty sure they enlisted around like, is that like March, April time? And I think this was July. Was this July? Yes. <laughs> yes, it was July. Oh, time. Time is a weird soup. Um, but yeah, regardless, I'm quite excited to this. I would like to try and uh, check this album out um, in particular. I think um, I haven't I haven't done a crazy amount of SF9 albums. I've done like the ones that have come out in the last in the last year. So I did Turnover and I did Rumination. Um, and I really, really like them, especially Rumination. Rumination, I mean, Gentleman is just... Honestly, probably one of the best boy group songs that has been released over the last couple of years. <laughs> just, yeah. So I would really like to check out this album. I think I will try and make some time for it at some point, and that'll be over on Patreon. And I would like to go back through and listen to older albums as well. I just don't know when that's going to happen, but 
one day, one day. Anyway, so we have Scream. Uh, as far as I know, this is a brighter concept uh, than they have done in recent releases, um, which I'm quite excited for. It just certainly seems very bright and summery from this opening shot. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm still terrible with names. We'll get there one day. We're not there yet. <laughs> They're one of those groups where I just like, I keep meaning to like, properly commit the names and the faces to memory and then just like a million and one things happen and i don't so yeah anyway let's do this as of nine scream three two one yeah cuties it looks like rowan isn't in rowan hasn't in because he's one of the Wait, sorry. I I was so distracted trying to <laughs> remember how old Rowan is, but he hasn't enlisted. I'm guessing he was just busy, right? Because he's he's not of the age to enlist yet. Anyway, regardless, let me start this again because this song did not sound like what I thought it was going to sound like. Vocals in the background. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Wait. I just like we're gonna go back to the start of the chorus, but um, <clears throat> this is giving. It's like. It's like taking their darker, sexier sound that we are very, you know, accustomed to and we associate with SF9, but putting it through the lens of like a brighter summary concept. And it's kind of throwing me, but it also is kind of iconic and slaps. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. He is such a beautiful man. <laughs> I love how they've done the vocal layering. It's really cool. The little like ad libs and extra bits over the top. And that do -do 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 is such a cool little detail. Like, oh, oh, those vocals in the background are so cool. That's a lot of green and ab. My goodness. A bizarre combination <laughs> of concept and sound. And I love it, but it's so weird. <laughs> I 
Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that was that was a bit of a trip. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't prepared for that. Like, don't get me wrong, I wasn't expecting like super cutesy bright boy group concept, not from them. Like th that would have felt even more strange. Um but just <laughs> the way Oh uh, yeah, it was like I was saying, like the way it's it's sonically seems so in line and in sync with um you know the songs that they've released recently um up until now with this you know very like sensual sexy kind of vibe but then putting it through the lens of this brighter summary concept it's just such a bizarre combination but it works <laughs> And I, I like it. <laughs> it's weird, and I like it. Ah, uh, that was really cool. I don't know how. I, I don't know how to process that. I don't know what to make of it. But it was a good time. I had a good time. Yeah, that's gonna take me a sec to try and to try and process the combination of that sound with those visuals. I feel like I'd be able to better process each thing individually, but together that was kind of difficult for my brain <laughs> to make sense of. But I liked it. I liked the song a lot. That was wild. Anyway, um, like I said, I will try and do an album listen to this. I would like to, based on how much I enjoyed the, the last couple of albums from them. Um... And maybe if I do so and I listen to the song separately, I'll be able to process it a little bit better. But that was that was just kind of wild. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I like that they very much stuck with like their identity sonically. This is so strange seeing it framed <laughs> in a bright summary concept for a music video. I'm here for it though. Also, they look Damn good. They always do. They are very, very beautiful men, but damn. Damn. Anyway, that was a time. That was a time. I have finally experienced it, and I can safely say that was not even slightly, slightly what I thought it was going to be and how I was going to feel about it. But we're here, and I liked it. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Let's move on. Okie dokie, so now we have an SM station, NCT Lab, Jaehyun's Forever Only. So this is a little bit different in terms of releases, but I figured I would put it on um, the poll anyway. Um, along with, there was an NCTU one as well that I put on there, but it didn't, it didn't uh, get a huge amount of votes, but this one did. Um, so yeah, I have heard very good things about this. I don't know what it sounds like at all, but I've, you know, from what I've seen people say, this is very, very good. So I'm looking forward to it. We have, oh, put the right ones on. That's always good. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. We just got right into it. That oh yeah, this is real pretty. Real pretty. God, he's beautiful. <laughs> Seriously, oh, that bass is amazing. Are those strings as well in the background there? I'm not sure what it is, but it's very pretty. 
Yeah, yeah, this that's a vibe. That's that's a, that's a vibe. Oh, that do 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 do. Oof. Get over this base, it's so good. get your ad lib. Oh no. I like that a lot. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Green day. Um, that was really good. That was really really good. I've just now realized that it has been a long ass time since I checked out some NCT related stuff, both here and on Patreon. Reason being, uh, honestly, just scheduling. Um, <laughs> it's just a scheduling thing. Like I've had a few things on my to watch list for ages, but just. Based on how things have gone over on Patreon, I haven't been able to get to them yet, but hopefully at some point soon. I do obviously know that the comeback is coming very, very soon, and I will be checking that out uh, when that drops, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm steering clear of all the, of any and all teasers, because um, I I kind of just want to go in blind, because <laughs> that feels like a fun way to experience a 127 comeback, you know? Um, so I'm going to be going into it blind, uh, but I am looking forward to it quite a lot, and uh, and seeing what they're bringing there. So yeah we'll we'll see with regards to other content but at least for the comeback i i will be checking that out so that'll be exciting but anyway that was really really good super chill um that bass was just incredible like there was nothing super crazy going on but that bass line was just it <laughs> it's just it you know um so yeah, that's that's a yes from me. Also, his voice is just beautiful, and he's beautiful, and yeah, that was just a good time. Just a real good time. Anyway, we have one more video to check out, so we're going to dive right into that, but I will see you very, very soon for the 127 comeback. Um, but to that. Lego! <laughs> Alrighty, so last but certainly not least for today, we have Tempest Can't Stop Shining. This is obviously their first comeback. Uh, and again, we have a little album, um, and I would like to do a reaction to that simply because I did a reaction to the debut mini and I really, really, really loved it. Um, so I would like to check this out. I don't know exactly when it'll be, but hopefully in the not too distant future. Um, but yeah, Can't Stop Shining. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever what this is going to sound like. I have not seen or heard any teasers or spoilers or anything. Um, but like I said, I really love the debut. And I they're one of these groups that I have my eye on. Like, just, you know, I don't have a lot of time or space in my brain <laughs> to take on new groups. But, like, I have a bunch of groups that I'm just like, hmm, I'm just going to keep my eye on you over there. And they are one of them. So... Yeah, we're just gonna dive in and see what the comeback is like. Can't stop shining, three, two, one, go. I also cannot remember any of the members' names. I don't know if I ever really knew them, but. Oh, 
I want to pinch the cheek. Anna. Oh, oh, I like this sound already. Oh, I like this sound. So pretty. Look at all the flowers. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, this is a face. Oh, his smile is so cute. Oh, that drum feels so good. Oh, I love this vibe. I love it. <laughs> Oh, their smiles are so cute. I want to put them in my pocket. These drum fills are everything. Oh. Love his voice there. Nah, nah, these, these, these drum fills, this percussion is everything. Also, he kind of looked like Yedam for like just the split second there when he scrunched up his face. He looked like Yedam. Just, just there. Just there. Reminded me so much of Yedam. Anyway. The dun dun and the dun 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 dun. Uh. God damn, pretty. You, you know what this gives me the vibe of? This sounds like the signal song for a survival show. <laughs> But like the best fucking signal song for a survival show you ever did here. Do you know what I mean? Like it's got that kind of very bright, hopeful, um, energetic, youthful sound to it. It just really reminds me of signal songs. From survival shows. I don't know. You know what I mean? Anyway, regardless, I absolutely love that. <laughs> absolutely. Loved it. You guys know when it comes to like bright, youthful boy group concepts, I eat that shit up <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> and yeah, this this was so up my street, completely and utterly. Just yeah, the the choreo, the music video itself, with all the flowers and the beautiful scenes and the them smiling and it's just so bright and wonderful and then like sonically to such a fun song to listen to chorus was super bright and energetic and that percussion the percussion it's everything yes yes <laughs> even more so even more so they are climbing onto my radar oh no 
I had this feeling when I heard Bad News for the first time and then the rest of the album was like, oh dear, oh no, uh, like Tempest might be a future problem for me and like, this isn't helping. <laughs> this isn't helping at all, but <sighs> we'll see. We'll see how things go. Regardless, I absolutely love that song and that vibe and I think that was a perfect note to end this video on, honestly. Like, definitely my favourite of the four that we've listened to today. Um, all great, all very different. <laughs> very different from each other, but this is definitely my favourite, the most to my personal taste. Um, and yeah, just that, that youthful, bright energy is everything. It just gives me so much. <laughs> gives me so much life. I love it. I love it to death. Ah, uh, I want to adopt them. Oh no. Anyway, that'll bring me to the end of our little catch up session today. Um, I will more than likely post another poll for a catch up. Um, well, actually, we'll see, because this month isn't as crazy for releases, so I might actually wait until the end of the month and then just do like a things that I've missed overall um, type of thing uh, at the end of the month and then go from there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have to go through and see how much I've missed over these last couple of weeks, but yeah. Regardless, there will be more catch-up videos happening in the future, I am almost certain, because I cannot react to everything as it comes out, nor do I want to, because that would be exhausting. And I've tried that. <laughs> I tried! <laughs> Didn't end well. <laughs> um, but yeah. <coughs> That'll bring me to the end for today. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the songs and which ones are your favourites and all of that jazz. And yeah, with regards to both Tempest and SF9, I'm going to make an active effort to do a reaction to those mini albums for Hyanna. I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze it in anywhere, but... I'll either react to it or I'll just listen to it in my own time, one or the two. We'll see. We'll see how things go. But for, for SF9 and Tempest, I would like to do reactions to them. So we'll just see how things go. If I do do them, they'll be over on Patreon. If not, they won't, <laughs> basically. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. <coughs>